Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jason from Straight Edge Knives with yet another folding knife video for you. And uh, I'm excited about this one. Uh, I, I'm not going to lie, I've opened it, looked at it, and uh, it makes me giggle. I just really, really enjoy it. Um, it's just, it's ridiculously big and it's fun and I'm going to carry the hell out of this knife. I can tell you that much. Let's get into it. We're coming at you with a Kaiser knife today. Um, so let's open up this box so we can show you what comes when you buy a Kaiser, how it's packaged. I'm not sure if all Kaisers are packaged this way. Um, this is the first Kaiser knife that I bought. So let's see what we got. So obviously you got a box here. You have this little envelope looking type thing. It actually feels kind of felt lined. It's nice. It feels nice. Um, got a cleaning cloth, which is very nice. Um, that thing, and then there's kind of like a little, uh, yeah, warranty, like a warranty card. And it's got some pictures on the back here. Look at your basic kind of warranty type info, care, usage. And then essentially, you have this tray, plastic tray that held the knife, and the knife in a plastic bag. And then you have this beautiful, beautiful Kaiser Sheepdog. Uh, some people call this the Kaiser Sheepdog XL. Um, it's technically on the website, the name is the Kaiser Sheepdog CO1C XL, my Carter Brown. So yeah, this is Kaiser XL. There are many sheepdogs out there and there's a, there's like three sizes of these sheepdogs. So you have like a small, medium, and an extra large. Um, this is the extra large with a my Carter Brown. Look at that beautiful brown my Carter. It is a 3.94 inch satin steel blade. Uh, 154 cm oh, look at that blue that blue liner just makes this whole knife pop and then on the back side you got this beautiful stainless pocket clip I mean this knife is just it's just pretty I mean it's I, I don't know how else to say it. it's a beautiful looking knife but let's look at the blade and watch the action on this look at nice big flipper here so you got plenty to purchase I didn't give it hardly any effort and this massive blade flung out like nothing I that was even my weekend which is right there click and I barely pushed on it you give it just a little bit extra bam I mean you hear that thunk listen to it oh yes it's just, I could sit here and just flip this thing all day watching probably gonna drive my wife nuts she's gonna be sitting there Jason stop making that flipper noise ah oh, sounds awesome look at this beautiful 154 cm blade let me close this computer down so you're not getting a little bit of glare off of it look at that nice thick blade i mean this thing's just it's just so pretty to look at I, i'm telling you let me give you guys some specifications on this. This overall length on this bad boy is 9.29 inches. The designer was Chris Conway. Um, it's a, got a flipper opening. It's a sheep's foot style blade. It's kind of cool as you got this little notch cut out right here. We can see that. So if you've got to choke up on the blade, put your finger on there, do some finer work. Uh, the blade length is 3.94 inches, so just right at about four inches. Blade thickness is 0 0.13, 154 cm stainless steel. Handle length is 5.35 inches, so if you got big hands, you got a lot to hold on to. Handles micarta, you got a tip-up pocket clip, which is not reversible, so it's right hand only on this, so I guess that would be a downfall if you're a left-hander. Um, the weight is 8.43 ounces, so this, is a, this has got some weight to it. Uh, you have a stainless steel frame liner and, you know, brown color. Uh, this bad boy is also running on, where is it, smooth ball bearing pivot. So you got your ball bearing pivots. Oh, look at this. Mmm, man. I'm telling you, it's just so satisfying. There's something about big blades, I just, 
I love big blades. Um, even when it comes to all my fixed blades, like my bigger blades are like some of my favorites. And um, just something about a big blade just feels good. And I do not mind carrying a big blade in my pocket. I can tell you that much. Let's give some size comparisons here. Uh, I think probably the closest thing I got as far as a folder to size wise would be this uh, Cold Steel Recon 1. I mean, the Recon 1 is, I mean, they're essentially the same size. Except obviously you have way wider belly here. Uh, cold still Espada. This is a medium. Let's see, size wise. Um, Bull Mastiff, Civivi Bull Mastiff. Another cleaver style blade. Getting a little closer to, you know. But I mean, this this is a big blade as well. But this one just. Sort of dwarfs it in a way. I don't know. Uh, let's go with the. Uh, uh, this is not anything close. The Top Knife MSF 4.0 folder. As you can tell, obviously, it's a little tiny guy compared to that. The Savivi Cinesis. Awesome blade, too. Full size blade, I would say. So, but I mean, you can just see <laughs> the blade dwarf in there. The CJRB Caldera. Another full size knife, I would consider it. And you can see the sheep dog just makes it look a little tiny. Of course, then you got the Savivi Banner Ray. Dwarfing it, dwarfing it, dwarfing it. Um, big boy, big, big boy. And I like it because I'm a big boy, so maybe that's why. But yeah, this thing will just drop shut on its own, pretty much. Let's see that again. Weight of this blade, it'll just drop shut on its own. Flings right open. No problem. There is no fuller, so to try to spidey flick it open, it's it's you I don't think you can. It's just too smooth. Uh you know, like when you get the Civivi banner, uh not the banner, the Civivi full mass, if you have this nice fuller on there, you can flick it open like that with your fingers. Uh or flip it. But with this Kaiser just doesn't have that fuller they do make a model that has the tipper the, not the tipper the flipper the flipper is not there and what they did is they put a, a large uh hole here they call it a bean hole i believe it is um is what they put on there instead so if you don't like the flipper they do have the option of getting one without a flipper and uh what do they call that yeah it's on the kaiser mini sheep dogs it looks like um, they do have an X, XL flipper. They have the mini sheepdog has the hole. Um, kind of see if they have a extra large that has the hole. Uh, there's like so many, there's a ton of models on their website. Um, this one in particular is, uh, what do they call this? The... I'm not sure if this is considered the Vanguard series. Um, they, so they have some lower priced ones and then they have some premium priced ones. This one on their website right now, is, the MSRP on it's 124, but they're having a 10% off right now. And so it's listed on their website for $99. Um, like the mini sheet dogs are going for like $69, $79, depending on what handle material and stuff you get. Um, but when you get up into, um, Let's see, like the premium ones. I mean, they have some that are so, like solid titanium, uh, titanium handles and things like that. Like the titanium uh, extra large sheep dog. I don't even know if they have it in here. I mean, you're, you're getting into like the 150s, 160s price wise. Um, but if this is something that tickles your fancy, or if you just like the blade shape and it's too big, go check out their website for the mini sheep dog. It's a lot smaller, a lot more pocket friendly. Um, go check out their website, uh, you know, kaiser.com. I'll put a link to their website down in below and, uh, something you're look, interested in looking for, you know, hit up your favorite knife retailer, be it blade HQ, knife center, uh, DLT trading, whoever it is. Um, you know, go take a look, see if you can find the blade that you like. One that tickles your fancy. This one does it for me though. The Kaiser Sheepdog XL. Give you another quick look at that bad boy. And it, and it came out of the box.
ridiculously sharp. As let's see, I'll show you. Let's see, I got nice hairy hands here. So I do this without I'm trying to do this without uh, cutting myself. It's kind of hard to do when I can't see what I'm doing. Here, let's do this. I'm right-handed, so see my hand right there. on the blade <laughs> yeah super sharp out of the box too and I love the fact that it's 154 CM stainless so if I want to use this in the kitchen I'm outside barbecue I like to barbecue a lot you know and I gotta cut something up I like the fact that it's 154 CM stainless not gonna have to worry about cleaning it up right away so awesome there it is guys the Kaiser Sheepdog XL go get you one <laughs> and listen to that Dunk! I don't know how to throw it and with that, we're out of here. Thank you. Stay safe, stay sharp. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.